I guess candidates now have a bit more control. Yep. And <laughs> they have a bit more control. Just, just a touch. Yeah, more than what they're probably used to. So they, they obviously know that they have a bit more control in terms of what they can ask for and what they can demand. So what, I guess, what are some of the questions that candidates have been asking you whenever you reach out to them for a role or if they come to you saying they're looking to move? Every candidate is uh, obviously very different and has different um, kind of motivations, could be at a different stage in their life, could have, you know, family, could be younger, could be, you know, restricted in terms of travel or, you know, living in a certain part of the country. So there's a huge range of kind of factors at play. Um, I suppose some of the big ones, um, a big one is probably like developmental opportunities. So clinical research, yeah, opens up a lot of doors for you, um, especially the kind of traditional CRA path. Um, mm. It's really kind of, there's a lot of uh, routes you can take. You can kind of, you know, go up and become kind of a senior CRA and then you can kind of take on some project management tasks then eventually become like an associate project manager and a project manager. Then you can go into people management operations or you can go into like the... Um, the more hands-on project management strategy and be a project director side of things. Yeah. So it definitely opens up a lot of doors and candidates probably like to know exactly the kind of the, the timeline that's progression.